Coach, first one of the year, congratulations, and uh, boy, it was awfully entertaining to watch, and you guys really did a great job of putting things away at the end of the first half. Yeah, you know, that was big to be able to uh, to get that touchdown right at the, uh, you know, right before the half. Like uh, I heard you, you talking uh, to the audience there, you know, that was huge for us to be able to, uh, I think they had kicked the field goal right before the half, and then we came back. Well, and then uh, we scored, and you know, I think they got a field goal right before the half. But uh, so that that wound up being uh, some big points for us. It created some separation, and and we needed that. Coach, you, you know, you told us a while back, a little foreshadowing, that there would be a real youth movement this year, despite all the seniors playing a significant role this year. Boy, you saw a couple of young guys come up big in the passing game tonight. Brandon Myers got his first touchdown. We played the Hampton touchdown a moment ago. The redshirt yeah. freshman. Uh, a lot of other guys got in the mix, and, and it was great to see that. I mean, you're getting a lot of young guys mixing in there with those yeah. those upperclassmen. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, we're, we're a young football team when you, you know, now that all the scrimmages are over and all the, you know, and then you, you turn around and you look at it. We got a lot of young guys out there, but the young guys are playing well. And, uh, you know, getting that experience last week and then finding out how it feels to win and to make plays and to, you know, keep it rolling and, and – uh, you know, we learned a lot on the sideline how, you know, how we play our game and, and, and everything like that. So, uh, you know, we'll hopefully we'll continue to improve from here. That's what we need to do is to, to continue to get better. But, you know, Joe Hampton went in there and, and made a big play. Brandon Myers made a big play. Uh, the uh, the fresh, the, the uh, transfer running back, uh, I thought he ran the ball really well. Cedric ran the ball well. Uh, you know, Nathan Grant's a freshman. He played good over there on, on defense. Uh, you know, a lot of those young guys uh, stepped up and, and did well. I mean, we act like Juan's an old guy. You know, Juan, Juan's a sophomore, so, uh, you know, had a lot of young guys over there uh, playing and playing well. There's no doubt about it. Coach, good balance tonight, too. 200 yards rushing, 286 passing, and Hayden Hildebrand continuing to impress. 19-25, 286, three touchdowns. We mentioned he spread it around. Ten different guys catching passes. Uh Again, back in conference now. It's all about uh, taking care of Southland play next week. You guys get your home opener, a late start, 7:15. And I know you, uh, knowing you, you've been watching tape probably on the lines for a while yep. now. But yep. uh, tell yep. me a little bit about next week and going home. You know, it, it'll be good to be back in the the, the confines of Estes Stadium. It, it'll be great to, to to be back home. I mean, we've been. You know, like I said, last year we were in Arkansas first four games. And uh, this year, I mean, we've been in Kansas and Kentucky and uh, a bunch of K-States, and we're, we're ready to get back into Arkansas and and, uh, and play at home. Southeastern, you know, outstanding football team. They took, you know, they took uh, – Louisiana Lafayette down to the wire and had a chance to, you know, they were going for two to win the football game. I don't know what they've done today, uh, but I, I know they're an outstanding football team. I know they rushed for 300 and something yards against uh, Louisiana Lafayette right at 400 yards. I think it was 386 or something, something crazy. So a uh, very, very good football team. Uh, we need to have a great week of practice, get some guys healed up and let's, you know, and, and, and get after them. Chris, a uh, big night tonight, and as Justin just said, uh, you, you particularly set the tone for the defense this evening. Yes, sir. Uh, I needed to come out here today and really, like, uh, make plays for my brothers, and uh, we uh, I feel like everyone had a lot of good support going into the going into the week to get a better, have a better game than we did last week as a D-line and as a defense just in general. We don't want to be a team that's known for giving up 55 points, so we had to, we had to change it around a little bit, and so we made a lot of plays out there. It seems like you guys had an answer to everything they tried tonight, true? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah for sure, for sure. Uh, we had a few different calls that we put in this week because we knew they were going to pass it, and... Uh, so we just executed well, and a lot of people, everyone played with urgency, and it was a better better game. Urgency and tempo seems to be uh, y'all's style. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's what we uh, that's what we do. That's how we practice, so that's how we're going to play. Southland Conference played next week at home. It's going to be sweet to be at home, number one, but Southeastern Louisiana, a very formidable opponent. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to be a pretty good team, so uh, we're going to have to practice hard, keep the urgency up, and uh, just get after them like we did tonight. Yeah, the pride yeah. of Little Rock Christian, he got out here and showed out tonight. Uh, uh, got a touchdown pass. How would that feel? Uh, it felt real good. You know, first college touchdown, um, that's something I'll never forget. So it was real good. Ten different uh, receivers caught the ball tonight. You guys uh, spread the love, to say the least. Uh, yeah, we did. We worked in practice. You know, just uh, we figured we have a big big week this week, so I uh, figured everybody would get a chance. Hayden Hildebrand, though, a good guy to uh, get the uh, ball around, and he he just goes to the next guy, it seems like. Right. No, Hayden's a real good quarterback. Uh, always sits in there in pocket for us and uh, picks a good receiver. So uh, 
um, we're really excited we have him. So. Of course, uh, next week the Southland Conference opener with Southeastern Louisiana, number one at home, but uh, conference play, and uh, now they're all big. Right. Yeah, every game from here on out is big. Um, Coach Campbell says, you know, next week's game is the biggest, so we're just going to take it week by week. And uh, get to play at home uh, for the first time this year, and that's uh, mighty important as well. Right. No, protecting the home turf is always, always a big thing for us, so we're excited about it.